Dear Ethan, Congratulations on your acceptance into an abroad university. I heard the news and wanted to offer my heartfelt congratulations. I understand that you might be feeling a mix of excitement and nervousness about traveling alone and being without your family. Feeling nervous is completely normal. However, I believe that this experience is formative for you, filled with valuable life lessons and personal growth. Embrace this opportunity with an open mind and a positive attitude, and you will find that you are capable of far more than you may realize. To adjust to your new environment, be proactive in building a support network. Reach out to your university's international student office or join clubs and organizations aligned with your interests. Immerse yourself in the local culture. While it's natural to miss your family initially, being away from home has long-term advantages. Independence is a valuable skill to cultivate. Living in a foreign country will help you develop self-reliance, adaptability, and resilience. Remember, Stepping out of your comfort zone is where growth happens. Although the journey may be challenging at times, it is those challenges that will shape you into a resilient individual. Throughout my life, I have always been captivated by languages and their ability to bridge cultures and connect people from diverse backgrounds. Among the myriad of languages that exist, Mandarin Chinese has held a special allure for me. Its rich history, fascinating characters, and influence in the global arena have made it a language that I have aspired to learn. Mandarin Chinese, with over a billion native speakers, is the most widely spoken language in the world. Its complexity, tonal nature, and logographic writing system have always fascinated me. The beauty of the Chinese characters and the precision required to master its tones ignited a sense of curiosity and challenge within me. Learning Mandarin Chinese would provide me with personal growth and a profound sense of accomplishment. Mastering a foreign language requires patience, dedication, and discipline, all of which contribute to enhancing cognitive abilities and mental agility. Professionally, Mandarin Chinese holds tremendous potential. China's rise as a global economic powerhouse has positioned it as a key player in the international market. By acquiring Mandarin language skills, I would be equipped with a competitive advantage in the job market, enabling me to engage in international business negotiations, establish valuable partnerships, and navigate the complexities of cross-cultural environments.
In this picture, there is a group of people inside a grocery store. The store seems well organized and clean, with neatly arranged shelves displaying various products. The first person we see is a woman who is standing near the entrance, focusing her attention on the assortment of fresh vegetables available on the shelves. In her hands, she carries a sling bag and a packet of vegetables. Moving further into the image, we notice a man who is actively engaged in pushing a shopping cart. He is likely in the process of selecting items. Additionally, there is a third individual, another woman, who is accompanied by a child. She can be seen holding the child's hand securely while also managing a shopping cart. The child's presence adds a touch of innocence and liveliness to the scene. Lastly, we observe another man who stands out due to his action of holding a bottle and a shopping cart. The scene provides a glimpse into the hustle and bustle of a shopping environment and the diverse activities occurring within it. The woman near the entrance would most probably continue to browse the assortment of fresh vegetables and make a selection. She might choose to add some vegetables to her packet. The man pushing the shopping cart will most probably continue his process of selecting items. He will likely move further into the store, exploring different sections and filling his the products he needs. The woman accompanied by the child will most probably continue to hold the child's hand securely while managing the shopping cart. They will likely move together through the store perhaps exploring different sections and selecting items as needed. The child would most probably continue to accompany the woman, exploring the store with curiosity and adding a touch of innocence and liveliness to the scene. The child might point at items of interest or engage in conversation with the woman. The man holding a bottle and a shopping cart will most probably proceed to either select more items to add to his cart or move towards the checkout counter to complete his shopping. He might also look around to find other products he needs before making a decision.
Dear Aunt, After carefully considering the available options for your little daughter's preschool, I have come to the conclusion that Calvary Preschool is the best choice. It is a reputed school with several appealing features that make it a great choice for her early education. Firstly, Calvary Preschool offers smart classes, which she will have access to interactive and engaging learning experiences. These smart classes incorporate modern technology to enhance the learning process, making it more enjoyable and effective for young children. Additionally, Calvary Preschool provides a midday meal for the children. Another advantage of Calvary Preschool is the weekly parent-teacher meeting. This regular communication between parents and teachers is crucial for monitoring the child's progress, understanding her strengths and areas that may need further attention. Furthermore, Calvary Preschool boasts a spacious outdoor area. Outdoor play is vital for toddlers' physical and social development. In terms of affordability, Calvary Pre Preschool offers a monthly fee of $300. Considering the facilities and services provided, this fee appears to be reasonable and provides value for money. I believe these features make it an excellent choice for the preschool education. Dear friend, I appreciate your suggestion of considering the Heights Preschool for my aunt's daughter early education. However, after careful consideration, I strongly believe that Calvary Preschool is the more suitable option. Allow me to explain why. Firstly, Calvary Preschool offers smart classes, which provide an inner and engaging learning environment for young children. Furthermore, Calvary Preschool provides a midday meal for the children, ensuring that the child receives proper nutrition and a balanced diet during her time at school. One key advantage of Calvary Preschool is the weekly parent-teacher meeting. This regular communication between parents and teachers is essential for keeping track of my daughter's progress, understanding her strengths, and addressing any areas that may need further attention. Additionally, Calvary Preschool boasts a spacious outdoor area, which is crucial for toddlers' physical and social development. In terms of affordability, Calvary Preschool offers a, offers a monthly fee of $300, which I believe is reasonable considering the facilities and services provided. While the Heights Preschool may have a slightly lower fee at $290, but every parent will invest a little more for the additional benefits and value that Calvary Preschool offers.
Good morning, teacher. I want to discuss a situation that has come up which requires me to request a rescheduling of the class topic. I have a consultation scheduled with my physician that coincides with our upcoming class, and I believe it would be in the best interest of both my academic progress and personal well-being to attend the consultation. The reason I consider this consultation to be of utmost importance is because it relates to a health matter that requires my immediate attention. It is crucial for me to meet with my physician and discuss certain symptoms and concerns that have been affecting my overall health and well-being. While I understand the importance of the topic you had planned for our upcoming class, I believe it would be more effective for me to fully engage and participate in the discussion when I am not distracted or feeling rushed due to the time constraints of my physician's appointment. I am genuinely interested in the topic you have prepared and I want to make the most of our class time by actively participating and contributing to the discussion. I kindly request that you consider scheduling the class topic for another day, allowing me the opportunity to fully engage in the discussion and make the most of the valuable knowledge you have to share. Good morning, doctor. I want to discuss a scheduling conflict that has arisen between an important class session and my upcoming consultation with you. As a student enrolled in a distance learning program, I have the opportunity to attend classes online, which has been incredibly convenient for me. In my online class, our instructor informed us that they will be discussing a topic of significant importance. It is crucial for me to attend this session as it directly relates to my coursework and academic progress. I understand that my health is of utmost importance, and I greatly value your professional guidance. However, this class session is a one-time opportunity and missing it could have a detrimental impact on my understanding of the subject matter. Considering the circumstances, I kindly request your assistance in rescheduling my consultation to another day that is convenient for both of us. I am flexible with my availability and can accommodate any alternative date or time that works best for you. I genuinely believe that having the opportunity to fully engage in my class discussion will not only benefit my education— but also allow me to prioritize my health afterward with your expert advice. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause, and I truly appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this matter. Population growth presents significant challenges for developing countries, straining resources, and hindering socioeconomic development. To effectively address this issue, a balanced approach of urban development and stringent laws is crucial. Urban development can offer solutions by capitalizing on existing infrastructure, 
economic opportunities, and efficient resource allocation in cities. By providing new homes in urban areas, governments can optimize resources, stimulate economic growth, and enhance access to vital services such as healthcare and education. However, to complement urban development, stringent laws are necess necessary. These laws should focus on family planning and education, population control measures, and urban planning and zoning regulations. By promoting comprehensive family planning programs, incentivizing smaller families, and enforcing sustainable development practices, governments can manage population growth rates effectively while ensuring the well-being of their citizens. Governments should actively involve local communities, leaders, NGOs, and community-based organizations to address concerns, generate support, and ensure the acceptance of population management initiatives. By adopting a comprehensive approach, developing countries can effectively tackle population growth, promote sustainable development, and improve the quality of life for their citizens. Hello, Roger. You won't believe what I just saw at the art exhibit. There's this amazing sculpture that I really want to buy, but unfortunately I can't take a photo of it. So I thought I'd describe it to you and get your opinion. It's a sculpture of a cartoon character, and it has a really interesting and unique design. The creature is predominantly blue in color, which raises your eye. It's wearing a long, cone-shaped purple cap that covers its entire head and extends down to its shoulders. The cap kind of reminds me of a wizard's hat, but it's more elongated. The sculpture has two large eyes, which are quite expressive and seem to convey curiosity. Its nose is small, and the ears of this creature are really unique. They're pointed upwards, almost like feet. It's a quirky touch that adds to the overall charm of the sculpture. And speaking of feet, they're quite interesting too. They resemble webbed feet, similar to those you might find on a bird or an amphibian. Overall, this sculpture has such a captivating and whimsical vibe. I think it would be a great addition to my collection. What do you think? Do you think I should go ahead and try to buy it?